Good morning, Mr. Davis. Hi, Mr. Musk. I'm Mike nice Musk from NetSuite. Gotcha, yeah. Uh, something told me about you coming Yes, sir. Today. So I'd like to thank you again for meeting with me today. And um, I'd just like to take a little bit of your time. As you know, I ran into Brock earlier this weekend, and we were just catching up. And he informed me that you guys are actually in the market for a possible new CRM company provider. So is that something I can help you with today? Yeah, we are definitely looking for a uh, new CRM system. As our company grows, it's been a lot harder to kind of do things by hand as we've been. Um, talked to a couple companies already, hadn't really shown me anything special yet, so uh, Brock highly uh, referred you and I'm really ready to hear about you guys. Alrighty, so if you don't mind me asking you a few questions about that today, um, I do have a business card here for okay, you. That's going to be my personal information personal cell phone, email, along with my work contacts. So if you have any questions, you can reach me at any time. So I just want to be available to you. So I know you're a busy man. I'm not going to take up too much of your time. Probably about 20 minutes today. Hopefully I don't bore you too much. Sounds good. So today I'd like to gain a better understanding of where you stand as a company and the direction you want to move in because based on that, with a better understanding of where you guys are and where you guys are moving, I can kind of show you what our product can do to help you in that sense. Okay, that sounds great. Alrighty, and do you mind if I take any notes during this? No, certainly. Alrighty, thank you. So, okay, before we get started, I just want to verify some information that I got from Brock. Uh, he told me that you would be the person to talk to in implementing NetSuite. Is there anyone else that needs to be in the room with you today? Uh, no, I think we can make a final decision here today. All right, sounds good. So, um, like I was talking, like I said when I was talking to Brock, um, just some things that probably could be a concern to you that I noticed that I'm sure you've obviously looked into. Inside versus outside sales really popped out to me. I noticed that your inside sales is making up 14% of your revenue in comparison to your outside sales making up 84% of your revenue. The thing that caught me off though is that you have less salespeople in outside sales, but they're coming up with so much more of your revenue. Have you looked into that? Gotcha, yeah, I think that uh, our percentage-wise it's about 75% outside sales, and then with that, like you said, 84%. Um, I knew there was a gap. I didn't know the exact number just with this kind of by hand recording, um, but that is interesting to see that that gap's a little larger than I thought. Uh, and that's definitely something I'd like to get corrected. Um, but unfortunately right now, I don't think there's a way for us to find the source. Okay, I think that we can help you in that soon. So uh, another issue that I, or possible issue of concern, I noticed that you've been having uh, trouble with the current system for your client the current information system. Have you uh, looked into any of that? I know you guys pride yourself on quick turnaround and efficiency. Do you have a way to track your client data? Gotcha. Um, we do try to keep client data tracked by hand. It does get a little overwhelming at times. Um, it's part of what I spend a couple hours a week doing um, in order to find out the company's standings. And we have noticed a slight dip. We can't, we don't have an exact amount just because of that by hand um, and the errors that come along with that. But uh, yeah, that's one of the main reasons we're having you in today. We really pride ourselves on that quick client turnaround, and so we know we're falling down on that. Um, and so we really want to get an information systems in place so that we can start to do better in what we're known for. Good. Well, I'm glad you guys are working in that direction. Um, Brock actually told me a rough estimate that you spend around six to eight hours a week in doing this. Is this true? I'd say that's about right, but that's, uh, that's not just client data. That's tracking a lot of information. I'll do clients, my salesperson data. Um, really just the overall standing of the company, but that does take me about six to eight hours every week to find okay. out that information. And just another question, do you use itineraries to keep track of your salespeople? Um, we do have itineraries. Our salespeople report those to their sales managers. Those don't get reported to me. Um, I kind of just leave it on the burden of the sales team. I do have my hands full, you know, yes, tracking sir, uh, the standing of the company along with all my other CEO duties. So I do not get those reported directly to me. They stop at the sales manager. Alrighty, so I'll also taking a look at the information that I have here, seems like you guys are growing very rapidly. It seems like you guys have projected 7-8% growth in the next two years along with expansion into six new territories. So that's really good for you guys and I hope that we can benefit you guys in growing even more. So 
Just a couple new things to address. In the absence of absence of your client data, have you experienced any customer dissatisfaction or even customer loss? Yeah, uh, we've definitely noticed a downward trend. Like I said, we don't have an exact figure for it, but um, definitely some customers who have just uh, long-time customers canceling their business partnerships or not ordering as much as they used to. Um, I know that a lot of our customers really need to stock their shelves quick, so that's why that quick turnaround is important to us, and we uh, probably been falling down on that as we've grown. So that's I'm thinking that's one of the major issues with that uh, decline right now is the fact that we're not offering that quick turnaround. Okay. Yes, and in my experience with companies your size, in making jumps like this without a system, a new CRM that is giving you that information, you uh, decrease in three to five percent would be generous. Sometimes it can even be 10%, so it's definitely something that companies need to look into, and I'm sure you're doing that. So another question for you, how, do you, how are you checking your company standing with your information system in place, or without your information system in place? Yeah, as of right now, all the company standing is checked by me, um, all done by hand at the end of each work week. Uh, I'll get my salespeople reports, our client data that I can get my hands on, and I'll look at it all. Um, and try to make sense of it on my own and then prep it for the company to use in the coming week. Okay. So, another question for you. Does your sales team, do they have a weekly itinerary that they follow or is it just kind of, do they just have objectives that they work towards or yeah. is it a strict itinerary? Um, the itinerary, it's more of a, it's kind of just a planning tool for them. Uh, it's also to track how they're doing on their progress um, in their sales that week. Um, goals that they're supposed to hit, clients are supposed to see or make resolutions with, um, and then all of that is rewarded and tracked by the sales managers. Um, so there is a reward system in place for people who excel at their itineraries, um, but like I said, I don't have any of that direct information. That's all. We would have to get the sales managers in to kind of confer with them. And you said they're tracked by the sales managers. Are they reported to you after that, or do the sales managers just handle Gotcha, yeah. Just handled by the sales managers. I do uh, make it my business to look at them whenever I find the time, um, but honestly, it's been months since I've been able to kind of look at individual salespeople's itineraries. Uh, it's just too tedious and time consuming with everything else I have on my plate right now. So I would love to have that information, but it's just a little much at the time with how things are running. All right, well, hopefully, we can help you with that. And just as another quick question. When a customer does have a complaint or if they're dissatisfied, who typically deals with customers and fields of complaints? Gotcha. Uh, we do customer complaints with our salespeople. Um, I know a lot of people will use, um, I don't like using their salespeople, but we feel like it's relationship building is important in the sales process, so we try to use our salespeople um, as a way to kind of give them a familiar face when they have a complaint, and that's just been the system since we started, uh, so that's what we've been going with for now. Okay. Okay, so moving forward, without a concrete way to track your client data, have you seen a possible decrease or do you see additional decrease, not only in customer satisfaction, but in customer relationship as well? Yeah, that's uh, probably our main worry at the time is that that decline that we've been noticing or that I've been noticing as I check every week um, is only going to continue as we expand territories and our business becomes more and more uh, complicated and larger, expanding sales force. Um, so that's pretty much the number one reason, at least in my mind, that we need that uh, CRM package. Okay, and like you just said, referring to growth, you guys are experiencing a rapid, great, rapid growth rate right now. And with that coming on, do you see that um, potentially giving you more of a hardship in dealing with the manual interpreting of reports with the six new territories coming on in the next three years? Oh yeah, certainly, because uh, I guess we have six territories now, so it's about an hour, hour and a half per territory, so uh, here in the next three years, if I don't find a resolution to that, I'm gonna be spending my whole week just checking the company standing, and obviously I can't be doing that, so I do need a way to cut back on that uh, time I spend per week checking things by hand. Alrighty. And just a rough estimate, if you could give me, um, how much of a sales itinerary do your salespeople actually complete? Gotcha. Based on just uh, meetings I'll have with my sales managers, we try to bring that up. Um, I'd say with what they tell me, it's roughly 80%. Um, and they do try to weed out the guys who uh, don't complete their itineraries as well. But with that hand tracking, it's kind of hard. And like I said, the itineraries are more benchmarks and uh, reward metrics. So. 
it's not anything we use necessarily now for finding out who the good sales people are. We try to use their financial reports, like I said with that, even those have gotten complicated. Um, so I can't really give you a concrete number. Just based on what they've told me, I'd say roughly an average of 80%, but it varies by how good the salesperson is or how long they've been with our company. And with tracking people on exactly what they're doing, how important is that to you? If they're staying on top of the task or if they're just getting the job done, is that important to you? Yeah, um, I'd like to be able to see the numbers myself just to kind of see what areas need improvement, not necessarily um, to cut people, though I realize that that might have to be done in the future. Um, but I would just like to be able to see what my some people excel in and what other departments don't excel in are what information they may have that would benefit other departments that's something we don't have access to now um, but with those itineraries i might be able to uh, kind of make some links there and better our sales department all righty so um, after getting a little better understanding of where you guys are taking our con conversation in consideration there's uh, just my, in my opinion, three obstacles facing your company that we could most likely help you with and really just eliminate altogether. So right now you're facing limited access to information, plain and simple. That's resulted in slow, in slow and inaccurate tracking of both your sales team and client data. So that's something that we can help you with. Definitely. That's, I think, our biggest problem as a company we've identified is that lack of information. So we're right on the same page with you there. And most of these are pretty easy fix, and you guys are doing great, obviously. We're not trying to come in here to do anything crazy. So another thing we noticed, sales reports have been slightly unorganized. Um, different salespeople are reporting to through different means to different people, just kind of... Uh, just really no means of um, uniform to that. So that's also creating hardship on you as of now, six to eight hours a week, moving into 2017, acquiring South Carolina and Alabama. That would add even more, and who knows what would happen when North Florida and Kentucky come into the mix. So. Yeah, for sure, with uh, some of those guys writing them in by hand, and then some guys sending them electric and having to go between a computer and Pen and paper, that's, that's definitely a time consumer, and I'd, I'd love to cut back on that with my uh, hours per week. Yes, sir. So another key issue here that we found, um, itineraries to keep Salesforce on track and accountable. Um, that really, it's kind of word of mouth from what I understood, that everyone's getting their job done, but there's really no way of tracking exactly what they're doing, which is something you probably would like to know and we can definitely help you with that. So moving forward um, with those current issues, um, I think we can help you fix those. Would you mind if I came around and showed you exactly what I'm talking about? Yeah, that sounds great. All right. Okay, so let's see here. So as you know, NetSuite is very user friendly. It's going to be simple to Im implement. We start with a six to eight week training phase that gets all your employees on board, shows them exactly what to do. And if there is any issues with training, we're always right there to help you. I'll be your personal sales rep. And if anyone ever has questions, you can contact me and we'll get it sorted out. So uh, next week is going to make your information completely accessible. It's a centralized software service system which displays all client and salesperson data. And if you look right here, it's going to show you exactly where it's coming directly to you, very organized. You're going to be able to see your financial reports, and it's really just going to save you a ton of work time that you could be focused on something else which would save you I don't know how you value your time but I'm sure it's expensive so another thing um, client tracking is going to allow your company to monitor uh, turnaround times which I know you guys are big on so that will yeah. help you there yeah that's definitely what we're looking for so um, that client data side is going to be huge okay so that's definitely something we can help you with and like I said these aren't going to be big changes in your company, it's really just going to make what you do easier and save you time to really focus on stuff that's more important in growth. So next thing, it's like I said, it's just going to eliminate time. Um, your sales reports are going to be automatically recorded and saved. You're going to be able to see them when you want, exactly like who's doing what. Yeah, and it'll it's be a right direct there. access to yes. my center. Exactly. So, awesome. so that's something we do, definitely. 
And then one of the biggest things I think that'll be for you and not only you, the whole sales force, our mobile um, use is going to allow for better itinerary planning and accountability. You're going to be able to look up on your phone, iPad, see what everyone's doing, when they're doing it, how they're doing it. So that's definitely a big asset to you and the concerns you have. So just a couple of um, numbers wise. Um, see that you had $168 million revenue last year. Um, that's awesome. And you guys are projecting 7 to 8% growth rate in the next couple of years. NetSuite, can, we can guarantee at least a 5% growth in revenue, and that's being pretty, pretty low-balling ourselves. We think that we, we'd like to think we could give you a 10% revenue increase, but let's say 5%, uh, $168 million. Um, my math, uh, just rough estimate, say $8 million revenue okay. on top of the increase we are expecting. Yeah, the next exactly. Year. So gotcha. that's pretty much a 12 to 15% revenue just from switching to NetSuite and then who knows what you'll be able to do with your extra time that's spent crunching reports and just trying to be on top of your employees. Another thing uh, we recommend, and obviously not pressuring you to do anything, but HR departments, yeah, I know you guys don't really have a very big one right now, but your salespeople are going to be out there doing more sales, and I'm not trying to tell you to do anything, but with NetSuite, if you guys bring on a couple more HR members, they can deal with NetSuite and really do the job of tracking reports and really just kind of informing you of red flags if something's going on along with fielding the complaints so that your salespeople can get out in the workforce and actually do their job and not listen to complaints and questions. Gotcha, yeah, we did have some extra capital in uh, that complaint system we had been thinking of changing just because, uh, kind of with the way we've heard sales are going and moving away from that relationship to let them kind of do their thing and create insights while we have another department handle it. Uh, that's a really good idea, I like that a lot and that's something I think uh, we'd be very comfortable with implementing here. Okay, that's great to hear. So, like I said, there's going to be a six to eight week training program, and it's, I guess you could say it's kind of slow starting for them because it's, it is a six to eight week training process, and it's about $1,500 per employee, but that's an investment that you're making in your employees because in that six to eight weeks, they're going to be much more uh, productive and really bring you more money. So, rough estimates, $1,500 per roughly 30 employees, so we're looking around $40,000. Is that something in your price range that you could do in order to implement NetSuite into your company? Yeah, like I said, we do have a little working capital. I think we've got enough to spare for uh, some HR expansion and also for a uh, CRM package while we had you in today, and uh, really like that 5 to 10% revenue figure. Um, and while I got to pay for 40000 on that, I think I'd, uh, I'd love to go with your guys' package. That's great to hear, and like I said, the it's an investment, $40,000 plus rough a salary for HR, that's up to you guys. So that's going to be a cost incurred, but next week is going to pay for itself within the first two to three years. And then with the free time that you're going to gain because of it, the sky is really the limit for your guys' growth. Because even as you guys grow, our program will be able to grow with you. Okay, awesome. Well, I think I'd like to go with you guys. Um, I would like to get the whole team together, maybe at some point, so that I can get everybody else on board, the sales managers um, and all of them. Is that something we could set up? Yes, sir. If uh, you don't mind, how does Monday sound? I'd like to get you guys in front of your whole sales team, kind of brief them on it, see how they feel, and we can draw up a contract and get it done. Okay, that sounds perfect. I'll uh, let the guys know that we're meeting Monday, and I'll look forward to seeing you then, Mr. Russell. All righty. Well, I appreciate your time today, yeah, and I look forward to doing business with you yes, and helping sir. you grow. Yes, sir.